All right, I'm going to show you the importance of always doing a pre-buy. This customer bought this plane back in March, April time frame, without a pre-buy. Flew a couple months, now it's in the shop for an annual. First thing I did was drain the oil. No big deal. Oil's a little dirty. Number three cylinder, completely dead. 15 over 80 is the best I can get. It's leaking past the rings, exhaust valve, intake valve. It's got to come off. Come around here, start pulling inspection panels, smell fuel. First thing I notice, right there, fuel sending unit leaking. Both sides, same thing. Simple thing, just unzip the headliner, look at the cables. Extensive corrosion. I don't know if you can tell that, but that's inner granular corrosion. It's deep. Part has to be replaced. No option. Alright. Come on back to the back. We've got a repair doubler back here. No entry in the logbook. Illegal repair. They doubled up the skin, but you can see, I don't know if you can tell by right there, but they didn't cut out the bad part of the skin. They just doubled it up, threw some cherries in there, caught it good. No entry logbook about that repair. There's no balancing that was done that I could see. Right here. You can see it's dented down. Someone tried to push down on the tail right here at some point. Looks like they might have crushed the rib underneath it too. I'm gonna stick a bore scope in there and look and see what damage that rib has, but it's most likely you're gonna have to reskin it. Same thing on this side, fuel sending unit, just leaking fuel. And I'm a little suspicious, I got some blue stains right underneath here. I suspect the bladder is leaking too. Firewall's got a little wrinkle in it. I don't see any other damage. Maybe all right there. Some minor oil leaks. Another thing I want to show. Right here. See the door frame completely cracked. Got rivets pulled through. It's about to give away. You're at the point about to lose his door. Another simple place to look. Underneath here. Uh, light doesn't do it justice. At least I'm gonna get a better picture of it. A bit better picture. Look straight at the tailpipe. I don't know if you notice anything missing, but there's supposed to be a cone in there. I showed an example of what one's supposed to look like. Here's a good example of a 1A2 muffler. I haven't even. I just started opening this plane up. And I found several, several thousand dollars worth of damage and neglect that a quick pre-buy would have caught. I would have walked away from this deal. At the very least, I would negotiate down very heavily. And he pulled the uh, filter off. I don't know what kind of chips you might be looking at there. But 
I cannot reiterate enough. Do a pre-buy, folks. Always do a pre-buy. All right, one other thing I'd like to mention. Familiarize yourself with FAR 43 Appendix A. It calls out what preventive maintenance is. This pilot flew this plane to me like it is right now in marginal VFR weather. He decided he didn't like where the instruments were placed, so he started moving them on his own. He, I don't know where this aluminum came from or what he's got going on in here, but this is a result of him being unhappy with his instruments and rather than get a mechanic involved to, at the very least, supervise them, this is what he's come up with and now he's brought the plane to me and said, hey, can you fix this? So. More work cut out.